Justin Guerrero of CU Sports Nation with you live from Des Moines, Iowa. We're at the Wells Fargo Arena, home of the Iowa Wolves, the G League affiliate of the Minnesota Timberwolves. I think you know who's standing just to my right here, McKinley Wright IV, Colorado's all-time leading uh, leader in assists, the only Pac-12 men's basketball player to score 1,800 points, grab 600 rebounds, and get 600 assists. And McKinley here is on a two-way contract with the Minnesota Timberwolves. The Iowa Wolves just got their season opening win tonight over NBA uh, G League Ignite. And McKinley, just first and foremost, just how are you? How has it been adjusting uh, to life outside of college, uh, getting settled in the NBA? How are things? It's great, man. You know, I can't really complain. You know, I'm blessed and fortunate. You know, I always thank God for you know, putting me in the position that I'm in. Um, it's crazy being away from my second home, which is CU. Um, four years went by real fast, man. But, I'm thankful for the opportunity Coach Boyle gave me, and uh, now I'm back home with my Minnesota Timberwolves hometown team, so I'm happy that they gave me this opportunity as well. Well, obviously, you guys get uh, get off to a season opening win tonight. Um, how did you think the game went? I know you guys had to had to quell a, a rally of the yeah. Knights in the second half. Yeah, I mean, it went well. You know, we jumped out on them real, uh, real fast early, um, had a 30-point lead, and uh, second half, you know, they, they went to switch and went through five, and I think we got caught standing a lot. And that slowed our offense down. Our, our offense down, and they were able to get stops and get out in transition and run. So, uh, going into practice this week, you know, we're going to work on uh, against switching one through five, and uh, which will help better prepare us for our next opponent. And I know when you were at Colorado, you were a guy that took a lot of pride in, in, in defense. And maybe uh, to people who aren't Buffs fans, maybe that's something that they don't really know about you, that uh, how prideful you are about your defense. Yeah. Uh, Jaden Hardy, former five-star recruit, uh, number one overall point guard in the nation for yeah. 2021, a really highly recruited guy. That was your defensive assignment tonight. Yeah. How was it just kind of uh, going up against him, and, and how do you feel that that, that test went? Uh, I think I did a really good job. Um, you know, there wasn't uh, many times he scored the ball on me. Uh, you know, that's just who I am. I take pride in you know, being a, a lockdown defender. That's what's gotten me this far. Uh, that's what's going to give me on the court in the NBA uh, soon. So, uh, defense is always my number one uh, priority. I'm trying to be able to stop, get stops and prove that I can guard multiple guys, uh, different sizes, smaller, bigger, um, whatever the case may be. So, I always think when I have my defense you know, since I started playing basketball, um, it's gotten me a long way. So, um, I think it was a, a good matchup, a fun matchup, and, you know, coach you know, put me a, a challenge to, uh, to be able to guard Jaden. Uh, he's a really talented player, obviously. He's a five star guy who can score the ball at all three levels. And, um, I feel like I have my own. It was good. Now, just rewinding about a week ago, belated congrats, hit your first NBA bucket. Just how exciting was it to, to get in your first game and also uh, swoosh one? Man, it was a blessing. You know, it, was like, it was a dream come true. You know, I was back home in front of my friends and family, uh, made a shot, and you know, I was excited. My teammates were excited for me. You know, I felt pretty good, so it was, it was just a blessing. And now I know when you were in college, your upperclassman years, and you started to kind of test the watch of the NBA, three-point shooting is something you put a particular emphasis on to, to get better. Yeah. Your first bucket, it's a three-pointer. Um, how do you feel like that has been going, just kind of improving yourself uh, from beyond the, beyond the arc? And overall, just uh, I guess, how much time and, and effort have you put into really refining the three ball? Uh, a lot. I put a lot of time in it, man. It felt good to be a, for it to be able to be a three. Um, and I spent my, my whole summer in Arizona with Phil Beckman. Uh, got to get a lot of work in with him, you know, uh, working my three ball all day. So um, it's come a long way, and I'm excited for uh, the progress, but we still got some ways to go. So. And now just looking at the, the T-Wolves themselves, obviously a lot of talented guards, D'Angelo Russell, uh, Malik Beasley, Patrick Beverly. Just, have you been able to, to pick up some things uh, from, from those veterans uh, with your, during your time up there? Yeah, I learn from those guys every day. Uh, they're real good. They treat me real well, treat me like a good rookie. Um, you know, Pat Beth, he's been my vet. Um, you know, he holds me uh, accountable for everything. He makes sure I'm in the gym early. He makes sure I'm getting extra reps in. On off days, he's, he'll text me or he'll uh, see me the next day and ask me I come in. And he's always uh, checking on me, making sure I'm getting the extra work in. So I've learned a lot from D-Lo, Pat Beth, Beasley, you know, all those guys. But uh, Pat Beth has really put an emphasis on making me his rookie and helping me out throughout this process because he was in a similar position as I am. And, uh, you know what it takes, so he's, take, he's taking me under his wing. Obviously, you're not in Boulder anymore, yet you're still a guy that, that certainly talked about quite a bit. Yeah. Um, KJ Simpson, Colorado's four-star freshman guard, is, is someone who, who mentions your name quite a bit, yeah. and, and I hear that you, you do kind of uh, still keep in touch with yeah. those guys. Yeah, I mean, I got on a Zoom call with those guys a few weeks ago. Um, just something I want to put together, and I know they're a young team. I know uh, they're going to have some ups and downs. You know, my freshman class, we have ups and downs. And, and expect them to have the same thing. So um, I know I know what it takes. I've been there. I've been in KJ's position. Um, uh, 
I, re I reach out to him. He reached out to me, asked me questions personally. And I'm always there. He knows I'm a phone call or a text away, or Instagram DM, whatever the case may be. So uh, whenever those guys reach out, I'm always uh, going to reply. I'm always going to give them the best advice. So you know, KJ, he's done a good job of reaching out to me and just asking for better tips and you know, ways to be better and ways to uh, fill the shoes you know, that, that I left. And, um, it's not just going to be one person that's able to do it. It's going to be a collective effort with me and Keyshawn. Uh, playing that point guard position, so I'm excited to see it. You know, I'm, I'm watching. I got a uh, film of the Colorado Mines game that I'm gonna check out. Uh, DC sent it to me, so I'm gonna check that out and you know, give him some feedback. And just last one for you, just broadly speaking, just what is next for you in terms of your continued growth and, and, and development? Um, what areas of your game are you really still trying to focus on uh, with this two-way contract? Uh, continue to be a true PG, so I can get him the, the pain and facilitate for others. Um, use my speed. Uh, like Coach mentioned that. Um, Coach Finch also mentioned that they want to see me use my speed. Uh, they want to see me run the way I ran in Colorado, get out in transition, make plays for others, uh, get to the basket, go into somebody who can stop me, and then just be able to make open shots. So um, I continue to make plays for others, use my speed out in transition, and make open shots. Uh, continue to guard, and uh, I'm excited for what's to come. McKinley Wright the fourth, 683 career assists at Colorado. That shattered a 37-year-old record by the time you walked out of Boulder. Thank you so much for your time, man. Best of luck.